Hey guys, Adrian here, and today we're taking a look at Mini Gore 2 for iOS on the iPhone. So, Mini Gore 2 is an awesome hack and slash zombie thriller type game that takes on the popular genre of basically survive through all these waves of enemies and progress through, and it adds a whole new spin to that. So, basically, you are John Gore, and you are taking on hordes and hordes of enemies, zombies, as they drop through the map. Uh, and basically, again, you're just trying to survive as long as you can. You're trying to survive waves and waves of enemies. You gain points, you gain more coins, which allow you to go into upgrades and stuff like that, which we'll look at in a second here. But again, basically you go through, and you can see here, you just try to level up as far as you can and survive. You're, you can see these yellow indicators indicate when zombies are going to drop and where they're going to drop, and you get different weapons as you walk around the map. Basic controls. Bottom left represents the actual analog joystick, so it uses an on-screen controller. Uh, and the bottom right here is your A button, which is your action button to shoot. But you can actually click anywhere on the screen that allows you to shoot. So anywhere allows you middle, you know, back, right, middle, top right, wherever you want to click that's easier for you, allows you to activate your weapon, whatever it may be. You can see you get these different power-ups along the way, like Beast, which allows you to just kind of run through and mow down zombies. And as you go through levels here, you unlock these kind of bo mini bosses and bosses that take you need to take down. You know, different zombies have different effects and. Some of them are more stronger than the others. You go from melee weapons to machine guns to shotguns, and again, there's just so many, uh, so much variety to this game uh, and this genre of game, you know. So I can go over here and show you the shop. So once you go into the shop here, you have the option to use all the coins that you've gathered from killing the waves of zombies to buy stuff. So I can upgrade my uh, machine gun, for example, for more damage. I can upgrade my shotgun for more damage. Additionally, when you get certain levels, I can unlock something like the grenade launcher here. Uh, and as you go down, you can even unlock other stuff. So you can change different weapons. You can unlock those with, uh, or levels, I should say, uh, maps. As you progress and you level up, you can use money to unlock different maps and play on those. Additionally, again, you can go into different characters. So you can see here I can unlock Jerry Gore, for example, and I can play as Jerry Gore, or I can play as, you know, other ones like Hook Champ, Jenny Gore, etc. So as I go out here and hit play, you can see I come out as a different character. Um, so overall, I mean, it's it's a fun game. You have that upgrade ability, you have different levels to sort through, and again, your life is represented at the top left. You have three hearts, and basically, every time you get hit, you, uh, you lose a little bit of a heart. And you can see there, I already took on a, a big boss in that case, and as I pause here, you can see my obje objectives. So I've completed two objectives already, uh, and there's much more as you level up, so, or as you go on. You can see stuff like kill the Grim Reaper, defeat the dead gesture, etc., etc. Under options here, you have basic stuff. You can control the music, the sound effects, the voice. Uh, it also has uh, support for Game Center. And of course, you can turn on or off auto aim depending on how you want the difficulty of the game to be. Overall, this is a you know a pretty uh, old genre and type of game where you hack and slash and you basically are surviving against many hordes of zombies. And for some people, they may that may be a con to them. That may be you know get boring overall. But I think personally, uh, in my experience playing it, the upgrade ability and the different maps, weapons, etc., and the stuff you can pick up as you go along the way really changes that, you know, and really adds on to the fun of the game. It really, even though you're surviving through hordes and hordes of zombies, it never gets boring, it never gets old. Um, really awesome, has run great on my iPhone 5, it has iPhone 5 support, and again, they're constantly updating the app to make it better, and I haven't seen any crashes or any bugs with the actual application itself. Runs really smooth, again, Definitely worth picking up if you are into this type of genre game. If you want a game that can last you a long time, you can play for a long time, and you can just kind of pause and pick up whenever you want. Uh, again, there's so much more uh, to the game than meets the eye. So do check it out in the app for today, Mini Gore 2. Thanks for watching.